Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to work on our walkway uh, across the lake um, and do other stuff. So uh, all three of my hens are completely full-grown level 10. I just went out and got another one. So you get to be the next lucky contestant uh, on the, uh, the, the, I don't know, what, egg is right? Chicken breast is right? Something like that. Anyway, uh, so we got a new chicken there to replace her. And we have ourselves an iron uh, deposit right here underneath the base. I'll take it. I will take it. Um, so yeah, it's been, uh, it's actually been, I don't know, three-ish real-time days since I played last. I've just been really busy with, with my job and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, in the last episode, we took Charlie on and had a very successful raid on them. I think, if I remember right, after I let you guys go, I did get an attack, uh, during the night. It could have been Charlie, but I'm not really sure. So, uh, there is that, and, um... Did I go... You know what? I think I went and raided Bravo 2 after that attack and got another solar panel, right? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a few days and I've been really wrapped up in, in real life stuff. Uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah, we ha we now have three solar panels. And um, I, I know I recorded that footage, so when I go to edit this video, if I have the other footage, I'll... Uh, uh, I will probably just put it at the beginning of this episode. Uh, but anyway, uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to grab... We have over 300 nails again. Um, and we also have... Oh, let's um, let's butcher you. Get all the goodness. We are going to have to start thinking about making a, a pan at some point. Uh, but we also need to make a cooking pot too. Uh, so we're going to put that in there and let it spoil. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put the feathers. So we're up to 39 premium feathers now, which is great. Put that in there. And this can go in here. All right. So let's see. We've got... Oh, we want to... I want to do some upgrades, too. So we've got 802 power and 117 mass. In fact, let's look at that first. What I think I want to actually upgrade is this. I want to do the speed upgrade on this. So that means we're going to need an ingot, eight crystals. Yeah, we've got enough power and mass to do this. So yeah, ingot, scrap, crystals, rope. Ingot, scrap, crystals, and I think it needed one rope. So we'll make the rope there. We're also going to have to make the ingot. Wait, are we? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so let's grab that stuff there and we'll make an ingot out of here put that stuff back in there and then yeah the rope is queued up so we should be able to put these two guys back put the high end stuff down there why is that in there that's not supposed to be in there that's supposed to be in here okay and then we we also have um now 157 boards uh, which i think is probably going to be good enough for today for the stuff that we have planned. And I would not be at all surprised if we get an attack at some point today, too. Okay, so uh, let's see. Ingot. And is that everything that we needed? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to do the extraction speed. Um, You know, I guess we could... This does use a lot of power, doesn't it? Okay. Well, let's do this first. And we might we might just do this one too, bite the bullet and get this thing fully upgraded because um, you know this is making water for us so we can go back down into the caves. And really, I mean once we get enough, we could just take the water with us all the time. Um, so all right, so we still have enough mass, but we still need 500 more power. We're gonna need another ingot and another rope. Um, so let's just make that both of those now. Get that done. And one more rope here. Uh, no, this rope. There we go. And then we just have to wait for our power to, to build up. Which, um, normally I'd turn this off and let and get the free power, but I think I'm just going to let this keep running for now. So we can get it back up as quickly as possible. In fact, we might even... 
We might even, well, I don't want to turn this off with it being that close. So yeah, let's just, we'll just let it run. We still have, especially with the sun shining in our solar panels, we still have, you know, a, a 1.59 coming in and only one going out. So that's not too bad. All right, so let's just stick this in here for, uh, no, I guess I can't put that in there, can I? Okay, never mind. Then we'll just put these things in here until the time comes. Let's put the, put that there. This goes back in here, this can go back in here. And let's continue working on that. Um, actually, you know what? We could turn this off for a bit and that'll help get the power back up more quickly. Yeah, now we're only at 0.5 out and 1.59 in. Love those solar panels, man. We're gonna make some wind turbines too. Um, at some point. It, it is on the, the to-do list. Okay, so while we're waiting for um, the power efficiency thing here, um, what I want to do is we did get a foundation from one of the hunters that we killed. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go up here real quick and take a, a higher look, make sure no one's coming. Yep, okay, I think we're good for the moment. I am like really thirsty I'm just gonna drink all of those cuz cuz I'm it's hot outside and we got the stove running um, let's also chow down on some blueberries and maybe a tomato and for protein uh, maybe one piece of steak okay we'll fill the water canteens back up and get those cooking and then we'll start working on our project for today Now, I know I probably should instead finish out the walls, but here again, we have yet to be attacked from this side. Um, I am definitely putting walls up eventually, but I, I, I don't feel like it's absolutely critical that we do that first. If we were being attacked from that side, that would be a different story, but we're not. So, uh, all right. So, uh, we want this. That's the foundation that our hunter friends donated to our cause. And what, what one of you guys told me in the comments, and I don't know why I didn't think about this, but this was a great suggestion, is to line up a foundation on this corner and then build the half wall off of that. So that is what we're going to do. Um, so basically that means what we need to do is we're going to need to uh, pull it back this way. And we're going to want it like right on the surface and try and eyeball it so it's as even as possible, both on the edge and on the center. So I'm doing that, not, not using the boards on top, but the posts. So if you look at the, the posts of, you know, the front of... The foundation you can see that the edge of those posts are right on the two corners and I think that's pretty close okay now what we're gonna do is pull it back and then drop it down some more until we can get it right on the edge which is that's pretty doggone close um, and is really close it might be up just a little bit it is up just a little bit. Uh, oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Never mind. It was hard to see it from that angle. Okay, let's try this again. It looked it looked like it was flush, uh, both in you know in both regards, but it wasn't obviously. So, um, okay, let's try this again. We'll try and the problem is when I pull it back, it also pulls it up as you can see. So what we want to do is something like maybe this. And try and see I can't see the top of the screen anymore. If it's up a little bit, well that's not too bad. Uh, I don't I don't think that's a big deal. And we're not going to trip on it. We can still walk on it. The only other thing I could do is make another foundation and temporarily put it here. 
Well, you know what, though? I was going to do that anyways, wasn't I? All right. That way we can, we'll have a better shot of really lining it up nicely. Okay, so let's do that. So we're just going to pop another foundation here so we can back up further, and that way, you know, do a little bit better job of lining this guy up. And then, um, do I have half ceilings? I thought I did. Did I put one inside temporarily? Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of my uh, multiplayer game where I had an extra um, half ceiling and I just kind of stuck it over the door as an awning. So I guess I don't have one in. Wait, wait a minute, though. Weren't we messing with one earlier? What did I do with it? Hold on. Hold on. It's right here. Okay. I did have one. I wasn't going crazy. So let's put this new foundation in place. Because remember I said I was going to cover this up over here and make it kind of like into a little deck that we'll put the uh, uh, the crop uh, the crop plots on. Okay, so you snap in there, except for we need to turn you around this way. Okay, cool. Now let's try this again. We should be able to do a little bit better job getting it flush with the surface, but the edge part's going to be fun getting that perfect and it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect but we just you know it's got to be good enough to where it's not an eyesore basically okay so it looks to me like that is about as flush as it's gonna get um I'm trying to line it up on the center as best as i can okay and then if we just back up a, a smidge. Go forward a little bit. That's going to be pretty doggone close. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty close. It's not it's not perfect, but it's I think it's good enough. OK, now if we take this. We should be able to turn it this way and get it to. Why is it a why is it attaching in far uh, in like that? What? What you doing, man? Maybe we maybe we're gonna have to overhang this foundation just a smidge so the edge of it's out a little ways. All right. So, if that's the case, then let's pick this back up. Now we're going to have a hard time seeing what we're doing. Grab this again. Okay. Well, you know what, though? Actually, on the other hand, this makes it a little easier to see because now we can really see the blue highlight. I can't see the edge real well, though. If it's if it's held out a little bit, that means there's going to be a little bit of a gap. Boy, that looks pretty good, you guys. Let's try that. See, now it's held out a little bit, but uh, you know I don't think that gap's going to be a problem. So now let's turn. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oh wait, is it? No, it's still. No, 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 no. It's still not attached right. It's it's too far in. I want it right on the edge. Sorry about the light, but it is dark, and I don't have a light source out here at the moment. Okay, so attach. No, on the edge. What is wrong with you, man? I mean, I guess this could work. It just means... Hmm. What if we tried to attach it from out here? Is that on the edge? I don't think so. No, it still goes in a little bit. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's just the way that wall attaches. It doesn't seem right, though. Okay. 
So here's plan B then. We got a plan B. Can we get up there? Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to go around this way. Plan B is to remove, temporarily remove the corner foundation. Okay, so let's just pop this over here for the moment. And we'll pop this over there for the moment. Grab our half ceiling. Flip it around and Okay, so I'm I have to come to the conclusion that this won't attach to the end of that no matter what. What about this side? Okay, so it attaches to the the edge but not the center. Why? <laughs> oh, it's attack time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It is attack time. The hunters are attacking us. All right, Did you guys get yourself stuck under the, the thing there? Oh, look at you guys there, man. Look at you guys. Okay, so let's see if we can get a twofer here. Ready? We got a twofer. That's amazing. Awesome. <laughs> okay, I love it. Okay, we should be wary because there might be more coming. They like to come in groups. So let's let's get this back out. Just kind of kind of keep an eye out for a moment and see if I can see any more of the BS that's coming. Okay. They'll, they'll probably show up right when we get back over here and try and get started back up again. Well, all right. So I guess what we can do then is try and move this over some so that it's, you know, kind of, kind of, so that we can put it on the edge and still aim for the rock over there, which you guys probably can't see at all. I can barely see. So let's get this out. Um, well, nope, never mind. That's not going to do us any good. Now, what we might be able to do is we might be able to do something like this. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, where is our half uh, ceiling? Right here. Let's grab this. Flip it this way. And... All right. So now the problem, though, is that... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, 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 nope. This is the right idea, but there's going to be a gap there. We want it on this side, though. Okay, now we should be able to pick this back up and move it somewhere else and then put this back in. It's not really that bad of a gap, um, but it's <laughs> it's not really lined up the way I want it to be either. <sighs> okay. I don't know. I don't. I remember we messed with this, but I want to try something. Will this just attach into the center of? Yes, it will. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna be happy with this. I'm gonna be happy with this. Yes, I am. We're going to go with this. Okay. Cool. 
All right, now, now the next thing we do, of course, is make a whole crap ton of uh, half ceilings to start building our bridge across the water. Um, before we do that, let's run over here and take a look-see and see if any more friends are coming our way. I think we're good. I think we're good. And we can make... We can make railings. That's kind of expensive, though. I was just thinking railings for our little bridge. I'm not. We're not going to do that today, but that's something we might do later on too. We'll see. Now, as far as this foundation goes, you know what? Though we might actually need this foundation on the other side, so let's just keep it with us. Oh, we can't. Um, no. Yeah, that's right. We can't. Okay, never mind. Let's just put it in place then. Uh, that was not putting it in place, but let's get up here. We want to stick it here, but flipped around. Okay, there we go. So let's start making uh, ceilings. So back up to here. Let's make 10, and we'll just see how far that gets us. That'll, I'm guessing that'll probably get us maybe halfway across or so. Uh, we're going to build out more this way, too, at some point. I'm liking the way the base is coming together so far, though. Oh, we got an attack. All right. Let's go. Let's go get these bastards. Boys, boys, boys. Everybody just calm down. You need to calm down, and you need to calm down, and you need to hold still for a minute so I can headshot you. Boy, look at him moving. All right, we better take a bandage. He will not hold still. Okay, he's dead. Did he come up on the shore here? Yes, he did. Hey, dude. Don't you be axing me. That's rude. Is it just those two yahoos? Anybody stuck underneath? Oh, no, here's another yahoo. We got him, right? Yeah. He's done been got. Okay. Let's loot. We got some rifle ammo and some liver and other stuff out of that one. Ooh, there's there's our shotgun shells back, more or less. We got lots of arrows over there. Uh, did I see an arrow on the wall up here, too? thought I did. Yeah, right there. Can we get it? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Upsy daisy. Upsy daisy. Come on. Dude, get up there. Man. Oh. Okay, we got it. I don't know if we're going to be able to get these. They're pretty high up. Oh, no, we can get them. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, boys. They, uh, you know, they damaged the base, so it's going to cost us some repair materials, but at least we're at least somewhat getting compensated from their loot. So maybe it's just a wash at the end of the day. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think he's thinking anything. Let's get this building crate, too, whilst we're at it. Okay. It's raining. You guys all okay? We had a grenade go off in the yard. It looks like they're okay. All right. 
What about, uh... Oh, we wanted to do this upgrade now, too. Um, let me go get my hammer and just check those two components to make sure they're good. And we'll also put a couple things away here while we're in here. So that's, uh, attack number two. For today. <clears throat> oh, no, we need to keep the rope with us. That can go there, that can go there, and we wanted to grab the hammer. We wanted to put the hammer down. Uh, also, we need some of this, and some of this, and some of this, and some of this to do that uh, other upgrade. All right, we have a fully efficient upgraded mining drill. 20% more speed, 25% less power consumption. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, damaged at all? That's good, and that's good. Damaged at all? Oh, no, I can't use the hammer on him. <laughs> what about you? You're good, too. Any, anybody get hit in the front? I mean, not not significantly. If it's only a couple points down, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, very good. Let's get back to what we were doing. How are we doing on food and water? We're a little bit low, and I let my fire go out. Actually, that's probably not necessarily a bad thing right at the moment, just to keep things cool in here. Let's have a steak and eggs. Let's have a couple tomatoes, and we should be good to go on that stuff. Um, also, a water. I'll worry about getting the fire back up and running later. Okay, let's continue our bridge. Okay. So that got us about two thirds of the way over. I'm gonna guess that we need five more, but let's just make four more and we'll see how close that gets us. Uh, because we do have the foundation. Uh, no, we don't have the foundation. We'll have to make a foundation. While, wait, uh, while I'm waiting for those to craft up, let me run back and put some of this other stuff away. That way we're doing something and not just standing here. And we got some ore too, beautiful. Uh, nope, it just disappeared. Dang it. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. They need to put something in the code to where if player eyes are pointing at item, do not despawn. And for that matter, don't don't um, spawn in either. Because, you know, when something spawns in front of your eyes, it's a little bit immersion breaking. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, put that there. Put No, not that. Put that there. And, uh, and we're good. Okay. What's the temperature? It's 25 degrees. Yeah, let, let's just leave the fire off until tonight. Because, you know, I don't need to cook anything at the moment. Look at our bridge, man. This is awesome. Okay, so we definitely need two more. So let's do two more and then we'll just see where that puts us. Uh, we'll probably want to put a stairway somewhere right about in the middle here, too, so that way if we are in the water or we fall off or whatever, we can get back up here. And we might put a stairway, you know, coming off of here, too. All right, now... We could do one of two things here. We could either do another ceiling and then a stairs or we could just do a stairs if we do where well, we're gonna need a stairs no matter what right so let's uh, let's just do a small stairs here and we'll see how far it you know connects to the stone if it's kind of down in the water I'll probably do one more half ceiling let's we'll just see what it looks like it might be fine yeah, it's, I mean, that will work, but I think I would rather be just a little closer. Let's uh, jump in the water and cool off, too. It is warm. It's toasty today. And, you know, we already kind of have a natural ramp on this side, so we're, we're in good shape there. Okay, so let's... We got want we want to turn this one this direction. Actually, it probably doesn't matter for these a whole lot, but now if we did another one, 
it would probably come to about there. I mean, we could, we could probably do two more and just have it clip right into the stone. That might actually... I might like that. Let's do it that way. Instead, and, and, and these stairs that we just made we'll put out in the middle like I was talking about. It's a good thing there's no physics in this game. <laughs> there's nothing supporting that all the way over. Oh, man. That's funny. I thought I heard a rumor, or, or maybe it was some of the guys talking on the multiplayer server, that Cold Games is thinking about doing physics. But I don't know if that's official or if that was just speculation or what. Yeah, this is just going to make getting, you know, across a little bit faster than having to swim through the water. Especially if, you know, we're under attack and we need to get back over there quickly. I like it. Me likey. Me likey. Look at that, you guys. Awesome. Okay. I'll take it. This is the bridge of OG. So where is about the halfway point? Probably right about here. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll take this, flip it around this way, and put that there. So that way we can, if we happen to fall off or we're already in the water, we have a way to get up onto the bridge. I don't believe the hunters will use that. If they do, we might have to put a doorway or something to block it. Now, um, I'm also thinking... another stairway to get up here maybe actually would be better to put it put it out on this side okay will it attach here no oh, man stuff doesn't like to attach to these corner pieces does it okay well that answers that question and that's where it's gonna go very cool guys very cool this was a uh, this was um, a pretty important milestone that I wanted to accomplish in Season 2 here, is making this bridge uh, across here for us. So this is great. Love it. All right. Well, um, let's see. Let's jump in the water and cool off. We have a little bit of time left in this episode. Well, actually, do we? You know what? What the heck? Let's go just a little bit longer. And what I'm going to do is... There you are. Oh, let's just run up to the arch really quick, see if we can find a lock crate before I let you guys go. And we have a little bit of daylight left uh, to do that, too. And I don't see anything like major, major damage, so I'll worry about repairing when I get back tonight. Would it help if we did this? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there's nothing. nothing's cracked. As far as I can tell. So it should be fine, even if we do get one more attack while I'm out and about. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Let's check the crops real quick. Ooh, we got some cotton. Awesome. We're still prioritizing cotton because we do need it for a few more things that require padded cloth, even though we, you know, now have our armor and our winter, uh, you know, our winter stuff going on. Uh, let's water this and water this and let's re actually let's rewater both of those we'll just use dirty water takes a few more fill ups but not that big of a deal and like I said I'm gonna move these down to that deck so they're right next to the water so I'm gonna fill it all the way up now it is and then it'll be real easy to water them up we might even put like a little chest next to them with a whole crap ton of canteens in it. And so when it's time to water, I just fill up 10 canteens at a time and dump it in. You know what I mean? Okay, that should get that pretty close. And uh, I'll, I'll worry about fertilizer later. That's not critical right now. Let's fill those back up. And we're going to have to restart our fire. So we'll grab one of these guys. Ignite, put those in, grab that out. Uh, oh, I got some fat in here too, so let's just pop that in here. <coughs> Excuse me, here. <coughs> and um, let's turn this on. Put this in there. That, 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 and that can go in there. 
This can go in here. And that in there. Okay, we got a lockpick. Let's go see if we can get a little bit of looting in before nightfall. We're not going to have a whole lot of time here because it's starting to get along in the day. Uh, I am thirsty though, so we need to wait. We need to wait for the waters. Let's go take a dip in the water to cool ourselves off whilst we're waiting. Hey, there's some scrap. All right. Yep. So we will continue building that water up, and we get when we get a nice. Oh, 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 oh. We gotta have water our animals. I'm glad I thought about that. That would be absolutely heartbreaking if we lost ten chickens or, or level ten chickens. Uh, no, wrong thing. Uh, we gotta get him some food too. Did that fill them all the way up? Yes, it did. Okay. All right, we're going to give them five carrots and one tomato and seven blueberries. Let's see if that's enough. All right, so we'll start with the carrots and the blueberries and the tomato. Okay, that's pretty close. It's not all the way up, but that should tide them, tide them over for a little bit. Okay, come on, water. Oh, water, 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 water. I don't have any more rifle. Oh, no, I do have rifle rounds in here. Okay. Let's um put three of those back in there so we're not taking all of them with us. All right, let's move. Let's vamanos. Going across our fancy schmancy new bridge here.
All right, guys. Well, we didn't find our locked crate today, but we had a pretty good, pretty good little looting session there. Um, but as you can see, it is dark, and we have a bear chasing us, which is always fun in the dark. Uh, so we are going to wrap up the episode here. Leave me alone, bear. And uh, I'm going to go back to the base, get the damage repaired from uh, when the hunters attacked us, and then probably spend the next... Uh, in-game day or two just uh, you know doing the usual doing some more loading getting our supplies once again built back up for our next building session and um, we'll figure out what's gonna happen next so I thank you all for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye